Hi everybody, I'm Todd Banner. Welcome to my channel. Well, recently I was watching a video here on YouTube and it was about the Lumix LX100 Mark II. It was a generally positive video, but the, the reviewer said that um, there was no way to turn off the touch screen function um, so that you wouldn't accidentally use the touch AF function. So if you touch, if you touch the back screen, you know, you activate a focus point and if you forget you did it or you did it down in the corner, it's kind of hard to see that. So then you start wondering why it's not, camera isn't focusing where you want it to. And you have to then hit the menu set button in the middle of the four-way controller to clear that out. So but it's not true that you can't turn off the touch AF function um, with other functions turned on. So what I thought I would do, and this is probably true of all Lumix cameras, the, but you know, with the Micro Four Thirds cameras and of course the uh, L mount cameras, I mean, they're big, so it's not really easy to accidentally hit the screen because there's a place for your you know, it, it, it's, you got to kind of try to do that. I've never had an issue with my G9 uh, of either version, one and, or two, or any previous Lumix Micro Four Thirds camera. Um, but I did notice, yeah, that this is an issue with my Lumix LX100 Mark II and also my Lumix ZS200. So I thought it would, it would be useful to do is to show you folks how you deal with this. So let's get started. So. Using this LX100 Mark II, if we go into the menu section and then we go to, and just hold it up here, we go to the menu, uh, the little wrench with the C superscript in front of it, uh, a or spanner if you prefer, uh, uh, the little dial that says operation, you want to touch that. And on the LX100 Mark II, it is the uh, second from the top setting is touch settings. So you want to go into your touch settings. Now, I have to put my glasses on because I can't see. By the way, I think I mentioned bifocals. Turns out I leave my both bifocals in the car because that's where they're most useful because I need to be able to see the dash and out the window. And that's so useful for working on a computer because you're always doing this to try and focus. Anyway, but I digress. Anyway, you want to have, and, and here are all of your settings when you go into that. So what you want to have is have them all turned on. And you'll notice I've got down at the bottom, I've got that uh, touch pad AF set to offset. So what that does is touch tab is the ability to use the focusing screen as a focus tab so that when you go to might help take the lens cover off. So when you go to the EVF, you know, it's got, the camera's uh, got the eye sensor, which switches from the back screen to the EVF. And when you do that, you can then use the touch screen to move your focus point around. So that's very, very useful. If you turn the touch screen off, then you don't have access to that. So, but what do you want to, what do you do if you don't want to accidentally activate uh, the touch AF when you have the camera away from your eye? And that's actually rather simple. You, if you look at the back screen on the right side, you'll notice that there's a little arrow and it points out. And if you touch that arrow, it opens up a menu and you'll see on that menu, there is a little finger with an X. That's actually where you control the touch AF setting. So all you need to do is touch that little finger with the X, because I've had it, and it's probably defaults to being on. I've had it turned off just to avoid this issue. But when you do that, then all of a sudden, you can activate your touch screen and move that touch AF around to wherever you want it. If you touch that again, let's make sure I'm doing this right, 
if you touch that again, you will get the touch shutter. So that's what this looks like. So when you get the touch shutter, what that means is if you touch, it's not only going to focus, it's going to snap the shutter. And then to cancel out of that, you touch it again and you'll find yourself back you'll find yourself back where it's turned off. Now, one of the things you want to keep in mind uh, is even when you, well, actually there's two things to keep in mind. One is this does not self cancel. So you have to physically go back in here to turn off the touch shutter or touch AF. Because if you leave it on, it's, it's even after you turn the camera off, it does not reset. So I generally keep this turned off because I did find that it's an issue of touching the screen and then all of a sudden going like, why isn't this focusing? Um, however, there's another thing you want to keep in mind, and that is if you have the touch tab uh, activated so that when you put the camera up to your eye and then you touch this uh, screen, when you come back out of using the viewfinder, that little uh, area you touch is still there and you have to hit the menu set button in the middle of the four-way controller to clear that out. So you kind of have to remember that whenever you do this and then you take this down, it's still going to be there. And, you know, you're going to have to hit that uh, menu set button to get rid of that. Anyway, hopefully this was helpful to you because, uh, yeah, it's a little irritating when you first get the camera because it actually took me a little while to figure this out. It's not as big a problem in the LX100 as it is in the ZS200 because the ZS200 is a smaller camera and I got big hands and I'm constantly touching the screen. So uh, on the ZS200, it's almost identical. When you go into the operations menu, the touch setting is the top choice rather than the second from the top choice. So hope that helps, folks. Uh, you know, these cameras are really great little cameras. Uh, it's too bad that uh, Panasonic Lumix doesn't seem to want to continue manufacturing cameras like this. So I have to baby these and make sure that they're with me for a long time, and I'm thinking everybody else should too. If this was helpful to you, please hit the like button. Uh, new subscribers are always welcome. If you've already subscribed, I'd really appreciate it. It's a big help to me. Thank you. Uh, any questions, comments, leave them down below. I'm Todd Banner. I will see you next time.